Hi guys, how are you? Hope you are fine, just as I am. Am I not fine? I'm fine. And I hope you are fine too. You know that's how your people used to write <laughs> write letter those days. Like she alafi alewa. That means hope you are good just as I am here. So I hope you are good just as I am here. You are welcome to my channel. If you are seeing me for the first time, my name is Fee. And please, I want to beg you, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much because I know that you will sub subscribe. And to my existing subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for everything. I want to talk about something really serious today. Okay. I believe it's going to be really um educating for a lot of people so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you five reasons why you need a lawyer and the reason why i am making this video is because you know i am a lawyer and i realize that a lot of people get into problems avoidable problems problems that they could have avoided from the beginning now you are trying to do damage control for them you you ask them but why did you allow this to get to this stage before involving a lawyer you ought to, you ought to have involved a lawyer you know earlier than this they tell you they didn't see any reason for a lawyer but in you but you like after all i didn't commit an offense so a lot of people believe that until you get into trouble or you have something with policemen something criminal or just when you have a problem that's the only time you need the service of a lawyer no no in fact when things are working well in your life my dear brothers and sisters that is one of the best moments to get the service of a lawyer. Yes, I said it. I know what I'm saying. And I'm going to explain as this video progresses. Number one reason why you need a lawyer is because, see, the law itself is complicated. You know, on the streets, you hear people say, I know my rights. I know my rights. I know my rights every time it's, it's something that is very easy a lot of people say it i know my rights but the truth is the same instrument that provides for your rights is the same instrument that that also spell out instances where you will not be entitled to that right a lot of people say yes i know the law i know what the law says about this thing yes i know the provision of the law about this particular situation my dear if you are not a lawyer you don't know Yes, you don't know. Because there is this general there is this popular saying in Yoruba that Oyiboto Shepensu Uno Lo Shiriza. That is to say, the same man that produced the pencil is the same man that produced the razor. And you know the two most times when you buy pencil, you know that they are always attached together. The the eraser is always under the pencil. I don't know, you get what I'm saying. They are always together but you just know more but you just know that this is pencil there is eraser under it for erasing whatever the pencil has written okay the same law that provides for that your right is the same law that provides for instances situations where you will not be entitled to the to the rights okay so the law is usually deeper than what you think it is and that's why sometimes lawyers say that to every rule there is an exemption at least an exemption and sometimes you come across some rules that just for just one rule you have plenty exemptions and you probably know just the rule you don't know these exemptions sometimes even the language of the law is not for a common man the english of the law is not the english of english language you know sometimes the way you perceive something as a layman may not be the way the law will perceive it. So, hiring the service of a lawyer puts you in a safe place. Like, no matter what happens, you are safe. Number two reason why you need to get the service of a lawyer is, I know a lot of people feel that lawyers are expensive. I don't have that money to pay the service of a lawyer. It depends on what is at stake. Okay? It depends on what's at stake. 
sometimes it is cheaper for you to pay for the service of a lawyer than not to have that service for example you want to prepare um, um, agreements for your properties you know memorandum of understanding for projects or anything you need the service of a lawyer because whatever terms and condition you agree to with your partner it is the court that will interpret it in case there is any issue and the interpretation you give to it may be different from the interpretation of the law it is safer to let a lawyer go through terms and condition of agreement you know on your behalf before you eventually enter into such agreement because you just may not know where that agreement or memorandum of understanding or whatever you call it will not be favorable to you hiring the service of a lawyer helps you to avoid falling into that problem not hiring the service of a lawyer may cost you more for example in a criminal matter where the outcome can send you to years of imprisonment or even or sometimes impose fines on you you still have to pay the money or whatever it can be anything you may be risking too much and sometimes lawyers are not as expensive as we think lawyers are human beings okay lawyers assess what you have on ground like what is at stake he values he weighs the value of the service he or she is rendering to you it's just because we are not ready to pay for services render an average nigerian man or woman is selfish sometimes they even want you as a lawyer to render these services for them free so that service that you need may not be as expensive as you think it is when there's problem that's the only time i should hire a lawyer you are going to be spending more that time because you now have a problem it's damage control but if you spend your money to prevent the problem you are definitely spending less the third reason lawyers know how to challenge the evidence against you there's the technical aspect of the law and these technicalities they have their rules lawyers know how to use all available means to challenge evidence against you so a lawyer knows what to do and how to do it to get your interest protected just on the face of your situation the your case a lawyer can tell you what is the weakness or what is the strength knows where to focus the number four reason lawyers have access to the experts and the witnesses that you need to strengthen your case for example you are involved in a case or a contractual agreement that involves the service of a professional outside of what you do even outside of law a lawyer has others to bring in other experts for you other professionals just so you can have your interests protected and get your desired results the last but not the least reason lawyers are the best negotiators lawyers know how to negotiate settlements on your behalf they are trained to analyze each case based on the peculiarity so lawyers know how to approach each case based on these peculiarities they are the best bet for you when it comes to exploring settlements because when it comes to the face of the law they know what favors you and what does now on a final note a lot of people don't know that there are times that lawyers give free consultation so if you are always thinking about money 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 how will i pay there is what is called retainership i advise a lot of people to you know explore this because if you are always concerned about money paying for legal services having a retainership with your lawyer will help you retainership is usually annually you pay the retainership fee it's called the retainership fee your lawyer we give you we charge you that amount that you pay and once you have paid that retainership fee any legal issue that you have for that year is subsidized retainership fee is not like one of one time of 
that okay you are praying with energy fee now so the lawyer is at your service forever no it's usually annually depending on what you both agree to you can agree on the percentage but whatever you agree to whatever your agreement is you get truly subsidized legal services throughout that year another benefit of this retainership is you get access to free consultation depending on what you both agree to but that's it guys i just hope you have been able to learn something till i come your way in my next video